winter is over and now it's time to pressure wash these steps i wanted to do it last year but i never got around to it and they look awful wow aren't those steps a mess and in need of some serious pressure washing today we are looking at the sunjo model spx 3000 it's their newest pressure washer i think this is actually like 2000 psi um so it's gonna be pretty interesting it is an as seen on tv product so get ready let's get started this is jeff with jeff reviews for you my channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on tv items i look at some consumer gadgets other household items once in a while i do a little bit of a diy just because i like to if that interests you i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below that way you're notified every time i release a video just like this one one more thing don't forget to check down the description for my social media instagram facebook and twitter i would love it if you would follow me there too now let's see how this electric and that part makes me nervous pressure washer works we are going to be looking at the sunjo this is their newest model it's spx 3000 and it's a 2030 psi pressure washer it is electric that makes me a little nervous i purchased this for about 145 dollars let's unbox this here it is so there's a little bit of assembly needed um it comes with the hose of course and the sprayer there's some directions i'm going to go through but here's what the sunjo spx 3000 looks like our first piece to install is where you actually hold the pressure washer gun itself it just slips right on here and clips into place now we're going to install the spot this is where you put your solutions and such you can see back here there's this open plastic piece that actually slides right in here so we're going to slide it in place and we're going to switch around to the other side to actually screw it in here are our four screw holes one here one here one here and one there they just come with the screws i've already started the one in here um, so you just stick it in get it all the way tight and then you slide these ones in and do the exact same thing. Now we want to make sure our detergent tanks are in. So you actually use the top first, slide it under, and just push it into place. This one was already in, so I'm going to leave it that way. And then since we're here, we can take the detergent tube and hook it in. Now we need to take the spray wand protector and install it down here. There's this little slat that you can see on the top right here. So we can get a focus there. Right here. And that actually slides in down here at the bottom and then of course the screw hole lines up here let's install that now it takes a little finagling to get the top piece in but once you get it you just screw in one of the screws right in there remember this is one of the small screws that we use here and there is a slight difference between these ones and the large screw now we are going to install the hose holder and it just slides into these two spots here and it goes underneath the bottles and then we use our last small screw to tie that in. Now we're going to attach the spray wand to the trigger gun um, but first we have to take off this cap and it just goes inside here. There is a washer inside there. Hopefully that creates a watertight seal, but we just stick it on there and start spinning here. And there you have it. Up next, we attach the high pressure hose to the bottom here of the trigger. Now there's an exact same piece, just like this on the other end that goes to the back of the pressure washer itself. But just get in there tight and screw it in. And now attach the one to the back of the Sun Joe. Remove the adapter. Hook it in. Once you get all your fittings tight, it's important to note that you have five different sprayer heads and an attachment for your garden hose. These are important to use. This gets attached to the front of the unit and you hook your hose into it and then we're ready to go. Now we take our hose, hook it into the front. You can see I already put the attachment on here. And so this part goes here on the front. Turn it the right way. There it goes. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the water on. And then once I turn the water on, I'm gonna plug it in and twist this button to on. And we're gonna start pressure washing. The heads just snap on pretty easily. You just stick it in and 
push it down to release. You're just going to pop that down. Oop, and it shot away. Anyway, I'm going to pick it up and put it back on. And then I'm going to pressure wash a little bit of this just to see how it works. Now I'm gonna show you the different tips and what they do on this tread here. So I'm gonna go start with the biggest, go all the way down to zero. I am gonna go careful with zero because that does a lot more scoring, but just so you can see the differences. The 40 is more of a wide spray used for cleaning things off, maybe cleaning dirt off. Then if we go down to 25, it's just a smaller spray, but it can do some paint pull up. But it doesn't do as much as the other one. So just a short, a, a smaller spray across. Now, as we get down to the 15 and then the zero, you, you'll notice that you'll have a whole lot more paint come up. So I did a good job of taking that paint off. And now if we switch to the zero, you would be careful with this one because it can damage things like wood or even this concrete. You can see the zigzag right here. So just be careful with this one. I'm gonna switch back to the 15 degree to spray off these steps in preparation for painting. So I installed this Trek decking about three years ago and over time it's gotten really dirty. So I'm gonna use this um, tip right here and I'm just gonna clean this area just to show you the difference and how quickly it'll clean. Now this is just water, not any soap. Now just look at the difference between the clean spot and the dirty spot. It really brings it back to life. I just spent the last hour pressure washing all of these steps except for the top one. The top one actually seemed to be in pretty good shape and the paint wasn't really peeling. But these ones had uh, peeling paint. There's two layers of paint, a green layer and a gray layer, and it took off 99% of the paint. So now this is a surface where once it dries, I could actually paint it. Plus there was some algae or built up stuff down here and it cleaned up really well. I'm actually really impressed with how well this pressure washer did cleaning off these steps. Just give you a head to head of my gas powered pressure washer to the electric one. Now that one is 2700 PSI, so it's a bigger capacity than this one. But you know what? This one is a lot smaller and you can tell that the handle's smaller than this one. So um, if you're looking for something that's more compact, this electric one may be a good option. I wanna talk a little bit about the soap feature, or the detergent feature. Even though I did not use it in my application, I still wanted to reference it. First things first, I'm not sure why there's two containers. Uh, my pressure washer has one large container and I like that. I guess you can have one solution in one and a different solution in another. They do not mix. Um, there is a dial on the front where if you turn it to the left, well, then the container on the left works. And if you turn it on to the right, well, then the container on the right works. I did like that you could um, change the level of soap that comes out because I found that sometimes with mine, it just runs out real fast. But I like that you can do a little bit of soap or all the way up to um, maximum amount of soap. Um, they do recommend that if you do use soap, use soap that's made for pressure washers. That makes sense, right? You don't want to use something that's not made for your pressure washer. The plug does have a built-in GFCI for resetting it if need be. So that's an added element of safety. In this video, we were looking at Sun Joe's newest pressure washer. And to be honest with you, I was actually pretty impressed with it. Um, I use a gas powered um, pressure washer on a regular basis and I really like it and mine is pretty decent. I showed you a picture of it earlier. Um, and so I was kind of skeptical, electric, I don't know about this, um, but 
I think it did a really good job. I was worried about just plugging something in that I'm running water with, but it has a really long cord and I ended up hooking it to an extension cord to continue on the um, to plug it in, but it didn't really mess with that and it wasn't wet when I went and checked it at the end. Um, it pressure washed pretty well. I didn't use any detergent and it took off the paint off those steps that I was looking at and I like that. It is a little smaller than a traditional unit and that's okay. Some people may like that because of the portability feature. You don't have to worry about gas or oil and changing all that and you can just plug it in as go. The only downfall is if you're out somewhere and there's no power, well, this is not going to work, but then there might not be water. Who knows? Anyway, so if this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. So I do appreciate that they put a little safety thing here where you can lock your trigger because you know what? I do have a child who loves to play with things. And so this way, if I have this thing out there outside and it's plugged in and turned on, um, he's not able to grab it because there is a lock. That's a pretty cool feature. I really do appreciate that. You stayed around for my entire review of the Sunjo Fresh Washer. You know what? Right here behind me, there's two bottles. One is 30 second cleaner and the other one is wet and forget. And they're cleaners that clean that algae on the outside of your house. Well, you know what? I did a review of both products. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link one here and one here. And I would love it if you would click on one of those links. And by the magic of the internet, when you do, I'm gonna join you at whatever review you click. So go ahead, click one. They're safe, I promise.